Groups in several Kentucky counties, including some in the tri-state, are petitioning local leaders for supporting rights to possess guns. They're asking Webster and other counties to vote for a proposed Second Amendment sanctuary resolution, which they claim prevents more restrictions on owning a gun. Eyewitness News Mike Pickett reports from our Owensboro Newsroom. It's kind of a peaceful route to take. John Whitfield is a member of Webster County, Kentucky United, a group campaigning in Webster County on Second Amendment sanctuary status. I don't think it's just needed in Webster County. I think it's needed here globally or tri-state area because every, it's every citizen's or American citizen's right to own and bear arms. An online petition, which has more than 400 signatures, calls for the county not to recognize any further gun restriction laws or possible seizing of weapons. Hancock County Fiscal Court approved a similar resolution late last month, and similar efforts started in Hopkins and other counties. Cities around us are constantly having to live in you know, fear because of this possibility of getting their guns taken away and not being able to protect themselves from those shootings that have happened before. I had and, and still harbor concerns uh, uh, about it. Davis County Sheriff Keith Kane says one issue is state lawmakers passed a bill in 2012 which prohibits counties and cities from passing local laws regarding sales and storage of guns. He also worries about local governments being empowered to determine the legality of federal laws. For uh, local government, uh, or in my case, the local sheriff, uh, to be empowered uh, with the ability to determine uh, the constitutionality of any laws, uh, I think sets a very, very dangerous precedent. Whitfield says their group plans to meet with Webster County Fiscal Court at their meeting later this month. Mike Pickett, Eyewitness News.